Now humans are naturally curious beings. Now this is true because even as toddlers, we have always sought to know about everything in our immediate environment. This process of learning and understanding the facts about our environment is done in order to gather information. For instance, when you pick up and study a book that discusses the shape of the earth, you obtain information about the earth's shape. Information may be as simple as your name or as complex as the distance of the earth from the sun. It may also be a robust explanation like how to use a mobile phone or how to install the ULesson app. Regardless, any knowledge which you possess that gives an insight into a matter at hand can be referred to as information. The different means that are available for the transfer of this information is called communication. Communication involves the exchange or sharing of information. This exchange may take place between a small group of people or a large number of people, as is the case when information is disseminated through mass media. Now, there are several means through which information can be communicated. Some of these means include verbal speeches, hand gestures, facial expressions, letter writing, reading, the use of the internet, making a call, or texting. As long as the information exchanged is understood by both parties, communication has taken place. Now, that being said, information and communication technology, often referred to as ICT, is a branch of technology that is concerned with the development of new and more efficient means of exchanging information. ICT involves the use of mobile phones, computers, satellites, networking systems, and storage devices in order to receive, share, and store information. ICT has helped to improve the general methods of communication and transmission of information. As we know, communication used to involve mundane acts like the use of metal gongs and burning bushes before it advanced to writing and exchanging letters. But today with ICT, it has become easier, faster and more sophisticated. We can now make instant voice and video calls, send emails, pictures and videos, and even browse the internet to obtain information. In fact, it is safe to say that ICT has made the world a global village. In subsequent lessons, we will see some of the means, devices and processes that have helped improve the way we communicate. But before then, remember that information refers to any knowledge that gives an insight into a matter at hand. Communication refers to the exchange or sharing of information. Information and communication technology is a branch of technology that is concerned with the development of new and more efficient means of exchanging information. Goodbye.